KLIF News Time 718. Well, the vote to decide whether Scotland should be independent of the United Kingdom has bolstered those who are campaigning to split the state of Texas off from the United States. Yeah, Texas Nationalist Movement President Daniel Miller, who wants the state's legislature to put the secession question on the statewide ballot, said Scotland's September 18th referendum is a good sign for his movement. He joins us now live with more. Good morning, Mr. Miller. Uh, Good morning, Amy. So I bet you you're watching today's vote in Scotland very, very closely. Uh, we are. We are uh, watching it very closely. It's uh, it, For the last uh, couple of weeks since the media on this side of the Atlantic has picked it up, it's been all about Scotland and Texas. So we have a, in this country we have a record low number of Americans who support Congress in the way they do their jobs and, frankly, don't believe much of anything they say. And uh, likely... Uh, one of the lowest presidential uh, uh, approval ratings, also around 30%, I think. But aside from that, why should Texas uh, secede from the U.S.? Well, you know, it's it's a, it's an interesting question, and, and it's really the, the primary thrust of, of what our organization does, is, is we go out there and we make the case for Texas independence. And, and the information that you cite... Uh, about the the lowest approval ratings of Congress and, and the office of the president are, are really part of that, but it's even more than that. You know, what we're looking at for Texas independence is simply this. It's time. You know, Texas, even part of the federal system, has the 12th largest economy in the world. And, and we believe that for Texas to really achieve its true potential, it's going to have to do so outside of, of the, the federal system. Uh, there is absolutely no doubt when you talk to Texans and, and people in other states, for that matter, uh, where they believe that the federal system not only fails their state or fails Texas, but it fails them personally. And so it's time for Texas to go ahead and do what Sam Houston said, to lift its head and stand among the nations. How would protect Texas, how would Texas protect itself? Uh, would it have its own army? Well, hey, this is this is the thing, and, and this is the vision that people need to understand about Texas. I, imagine for a moment anything that an independent nation around the world has, uh, and, and imagine that for Texas, uh, whether that be our, our own embassies around the world or our own uh, military and national defense or our own currency. Uh, all of those things are possible. But I, I think that the big issue here is is that the people of Texas need to look at what's going on in Scotland and understand that what's happening in Scotland now and, and what, what this talk is here in Texas is part of a global trend. At the end of World War II, there were 54 recognized countries around the world. At the end of the 20th century, there were 192. And with the hard work that our organization is doing, we're hoping to add to that number here in the 21st century. We're talking with uh, Daniel Miller, who heads up the Texas Nationalist Movement, about uh, Texas seceding from the U.S. How would this process work? Uh, in my understanding, and maybe I'm wrong about this, but e- eventually wouldn't the U.S. Congress have to approve our independence? Well, this is a matter for debate. And, and of course, the, the folks that are opposed to Texas independence uh, want to create a, a lot of process to leave the Union. But the fact of the matter is is that all the decisions that Texas needs to make about Texas only have to take place in Texas. Article 1, Section 2 of the Texas Constitution says that the people have the inalienable right to reform, alter, or abolish our form of government in such manner as we think expedient. So, you know, that ultimately, just like in Scotland, uh, the, the decision for Scottish independence lies upon the Scottish people, Ultimately, the decision for Texas independence lies with Texans. About 20% of Texas voters said they would support secession because of President Barack Obama's re-election. And on the flip side, 67% were opposed. Um, how much support do you continue to have? Well, I think, uh, I think that poll uh, just in and of itself is skewed. And, and that's part and parcel of, of what the opposition does when they want to shoot this down as some fringe idea. Uh, the fact of the matter is, even back in 2009, when Research 2000 conducted their poll, we found that uh, half of Republicans, 45 percent of independents, and 15 percent of Democrats believe that Texas uh, should go off on its own as an independent nation. 
So what we're seeing here are the same tactics used against Texans to take away their hope that's being used by the Better Together campaign uh, in Scotland. And, and what we are producing here in the Texas nationalist movement it is a difference. We're providing hope when the opposition can only provide fear. You know, I, if, you, if you look at things right now, I think uh, most of us would probably agree that the founding fathers of the United States would be horrified at what has happened to the country in terms of the way the government is being operated in reality. And uh, certainly we can understand why we might want to get away from that. But, you know, presidents change, Congresses change, things change in the world. Wouldn't it be kind of like uh, taking a, you got a house that needs to be repainted, but instead of fixing it, you're just going to move to some, some other home? Well, Dave, I think, I think that is really the issue here, it is that the people no longer believe that the federal system is fixable. Uh, you know, generation after generation have looked for uh, some political savior to come in and clean house and fix the federal system. And, and what we have found is that it's unfixable. The belief of the people in the ability of someone to come in and save the union uh, is not there anymore. But it's more than that. You know, when when I first personally got involved in the, in the fight for Texas independence, uh, Bill Clinton was, was president. And, and throughout the successive administrations and, and congresses with, with one party or another in power, we have only seen support for Texas independence grow. So this is a transpartisan issue that, that transcends the, the left-right paradigm, Republican-Democrat, it's not a left or right issue. It's a Texas issue, and it's time for Texas to stand on its own as an independent nation. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Mr. Miller, with your thoughts. And uh, it be interesting to see what happens in mm, Scotland very, uh, tomorrow. Very interesting uh, proposal that Mr. Miller has, and he puts it uh, he's very articulate yeah. with his arguments. Thank you, Daniel.